on this stupid freaking tower in the middle of freaking nowhere. When we're making films, we're typically making them for the home language that they're made in. Films don't really travel, and, and that limited reach then constrains budgets and, and the opportunity to reach more audience uh, is a real, real problem that we're facing in the industry. And I think a lot of the problems, if you really look at it at a high level, come from those two factors. I actually uh, came across a technology about five years ago, um, which I felt was a solution or offered a potential solution to those problems. Um, it's a technology which you uh, would today call generative AI. Um, and uh, I'll show you a little clip of what Flawless does, uh, a clip from one of my movies. Now we're stuck on this stupid tower in the middle of nowhere. And I don't blame you, and now we're stuck on this stupid... Now we're stuck on this stupid freaking tower in the middle of freaking nowhere. And it's all my fault. I think it's as big as the invention of the film camera. I think it's that big, right? Because it, it, it changes the, the fundamental ways we tell stories, we make movies. I think it's, it's that big, really, uh, AI. It can be that. I don't think there is going to be lost jobs. Think I think there's going to be job gains. So I actually think that as an industry, we are... Look, films are too expensive. They're not working, right? It's, it's, it's uh, highly risky from an investment point of view as an industry. Um, and, and it all comes down to the fact that we're still making films very similar for the last 100 years the same way as we haven't really embraced new breakthrough technologies much. I think Hollywood has actually done best when it has embraced innovation and it's, and it's taken it forward responsibly. Um, and I think ultimately for the question of, of industry and work, um, Really what this is going to result in is better movies that are able to reach more audiences. And in doing that, the industry thrives.